I know that Director Pinkham will be joining us at around 6.30 tonight. He had a work obligation, but he'll be here as soon as he can. Ms. Ritchie, the roll call, please. Director Blanford. Okay. Director Burke. Here. Director Geary. Here. Director Harris. Here. Director Patu. Here. Director Pinkham is gone. And Director Peters. Here. All right. Thank you. If everyone would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah, I will now turn it over to Superintendent Nyland for the partnership recognition this evening. Thank you, Dr. Nyland. All right. Well, uh, we're delighted uh, to have uh, an opportunity to recognize one of our premier partners that has been a very important and integral part of Seattle Public Schools for the last 30 years. And I would invite uh, Dr. Brent Jones to the podium to make the introductions. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, schools Out Washington and Seattle Public Schools have had a 30-year history. Schools Out Washington has supported Seattle Public Schools in many, many ways, helping us to align community partner experience and working with us to ensure whole child supports. Schools Out Washington works with 250 of our partner organizations, serving over 35,000 students. I would like to invite Mari Offenbacher to the podium to share a few words. But before she takes the microphone, I want to recognize that, unfortunately, she's retiring. <laughs> Mari Lansoa uh, has been its leader for 27 years. She's a leader in youth development in this region. We're deeply indebted to her work, commitment, and vision. She was instrumental in forging this long-lasting partnership with Seattle Public Schools, starting the alignment initiative to create systems for schools and community organizations to supporting children and youth during their out of school hours. Through her leadership, Mari has worked to build local, statewide, national coalitions. She was instrumental, including the MOST initiative, Boost Learning, SOAR, Youth Development Initiative, executives rather of King County, and Mari's commitment to improving communities for children and youth by increasing equitable access to expand learning programs has made a tremendous impact on our Seattle schools. I would now like to invite Mari to the podium to say a few words. Mari. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Jones. Um, I just want to say it has been such an honor and a privilege to um, uh, work beside Sa Seattle Public Schools over these past 30 years. Um, we've really done incredible groundbreaking work nationally in really forging deep um, community school partnerships to really support holistically students in Seattle Public Schools. Um, our, uh, our past is deep and meaningful and our future is really bright. Uh, we really look forward to uh, additional work that we will be doing around social emotional learning and really uh, building out a whole child approach to how we work with students to ensure that they have the social and emotional and academic skills to be successful. So I want to thank you for this honor. Um, I do have the privilege to uh, bring to the podium now our King County Quality Director, James Lovell, who's going to share a little bit more with you about the work that we do with Seattle Public School students. So thank you again. Good afternoon and thank you for your time this evening. Um, Mari gave a little overview of Schools Out, but I'll go a little deeper here. My name is James Lovell. I'm the King County Program Quality Director for Schools Out Washington. We're a statewide nonprofit intermediary focusing on quality, racial equity, advocacy, and grant making for expanded learning opportunities programs. The expanded learning opportunities, or ELO, sector includes agencies and programs that serve young people through youth development, summer learning, cultural and social justice programs, after school and licensed school age care, arts, park and recreation sites, single, single site community based after school programs, and large national affiliates. 
We bridge and broker government and private funding to build strong systems and help ELO programs improve the way young people grow and build skills. We also administer the Refugee School Impact Grant, which has supported service for refugee students in Seattle Public Schools for more than 10 years. We also share the district's commitment to eliminating the opportunity gaps. Schools Out has a long history of partnering with Seattle Public Schools to support ELO programs based in the schools and provide training and services focused on improving quality at the point of service. These high quality programs work with youth so that they can reap benefits in academic outcomes and social emotional skill development. Our signature efforts focus on program quality and how that links to social emotional learning. All of the program types I mentioned are helping young people build important skills, whether they are academic skills, art skills, civic engagement, or environmental conservation with the Woodland Park Zoo, or a blend of all of those. Our approach is to give ELO programs and staff the tools and resources to help young people build skills in areas we believe to be common across all program types. Social emotional learning skills, such as emotion management, empathy, teamwork, responsibility, initiative, and problem solving. What quality looks like in a program setting is guided by a set of quality standards for the expanded learning field that provide benchmarks for staff to understand how to help young people build these skills. By creating opportunities for young people to have safe and supportive environments, they begin to interact with each other in new ways. They begin to make decisions about their learning and their lives. And those SEL skills grow and expand and extend to other areas in their life. Additionally, the adolescent brain has a high degree of neuroplasticity at this point. And this is best capitalized on when young people are building skills collaboratively and with their peers. Our approach is to help program staff assess, plan, and improve the opportunities they provide for youth to build these skills. So through usage of the Youth Program Quality Assessment, a validated nationally used research-based observational assessment tool from the David P. Weikert Center for Youth Program Quality, we help programs use data to identify areas for improvement. Providers get aligned professional development and coaching to focus on those areas. This entire process is packaged as a youth program quality initiative. Through this process and our community workshops, we partner with Seattle Public Schools across the city during the school year, and students from nearly every Seattle Public School participate in programs engaged in this process. Schools Out Washington, as we shared, works with more than 250 partner programs of Seattle Public Schools, serving over 35,000 children and youth in Seattle. We support, we support the Youth Program Quality Initiative and programs that operate in at least 70 Seattle Public Schools buildings and have trained hundreds of SPS teachers, IAs, and administrators in the last two years alone. A project that we've partnered with SPS on over the past couple of years that we are very excited about is the Summer Staircase Program, which addresses one of the primary contributors to the opportunity gap, summer learning loss, and the disproportionate impact it has on low-income students and youth of color. So, over the last two years, we have partnered with Seattle Public Schools, the Weikert Center, and the National Summer Learning Association to bring this quality assessment and improvement process to the Summer Staircase programs. <coughs> Through funding from the Rakes Foundation and the Wallace Foundation, along with significant time investments from Seattle Public Schools, Schools Out Washington has worked with all 19 elementary summer staircase programs, observed 60 unique classrooms at two different time points during the summer, trained, observed, assessed, and shared data with 70 classroom instructors, and have given teachers and administrators data about observational point of service quality for over 1,000 elementary age students. What our collaboration with SPS has found is that high quality programs operated by Seattle Public Schools staff, teachers, and community partners help youth make significant academic gains in math and literacy over the summer. We look forward to the expanded quality to outcome study results in this spring to help track the impact that high quality summer learning has on success throughout the school year. We have also found that an intentional focus on interactive, and engaging programming strengthens this growth, growth in literacy and math. Young people can make 40 percentage points of growth using the Seattle Public Schools Summer Math Assessment Tool. We're excited to be here this evening to celebrate the successes of this partnership, and we'd like to specifically acknowledge all the administrators, teachers, IAs, and program partners that work with youth year-round. It is an honor to support your work in, elim in eliminating the opportunity gap. Thank you so much. We'd invite uh, Schools Out Washington to come forward, and we'd invite the board to come down and uh, greet and congratulate you, and we do have a plaque for you.
All right, thank you all very much. So tonight we have a theatrical performance from Salmon Bay K-8. They're going to present to us, um, I'm assuming a scene, not the whole play, Much Ado About Nothing by William Shakespeare. So while they're setting up, I invite my colleagues to come sit in the audience and we can enjoy the performance. Thank you. Okay, my name is Glyde Hart King. I am the drama and media teacher at Salmon Bay School. I'm honored and delighted to be here before you today. Um, we are gonna be on live television. We're very nervous. But we also hear that this is the first non-musical um, presentation that you've had in a while. So I feel honored to represent the spoken word form of art and Shakespeare's words in particular. Um, this production that we just closed, Much Ado About Nothing by William Shakespeare, the middle school kids read the whole play. They edited it. I had a theater tech class do all of the sets, costumes, lights, props, etc. And then this class um, uh, represents the performers. Um, it's a hard play. Shakespeare's hard. These are middle school kids. They did an amazing job on our little stage in our little um, our little K-8 school. So proud of them. But also to just listen to the words that the person before me was using. Um, initiation, problem solving, building skills collaboratively, literacy, interactive and engaging. If you were looking for those words, you couldn't look any farther. I mean, this is the kind of program that you want. Um, also, there are copies of the program in the back, if you can see all of the numbers of people that were actually involved in the full production. So no, we are not giving you the full play. We're giving you two lovely scenes. And I just want to point out that originally you know, all those hundreds of years ago when the play was first produced in 1598, it was all men performing. And today we have all women. My name is Ruby Eaton. Uh, I'm Annalise Haas Fultz. And uh, I'm playing Benedict. I'm Beatrice. And uh, this scene that we're doing right now is um, it's just after a very, very traumatic wedding. Uh, her cousin has just been shamed at the altar and she's very upset. And I'm trying to calm her down. And we're sort of going back and forth between hating each other and loving each other. And this is and it's something that you'll see as the scene progresses. But thank you. Lady Beatrice, have you wept all this while? Yea, and I will weep a while longer. I will not desire that. You have no reason. I do it freely. Surely I do believe your fair cousin is wronged. How much might the man deserve of me that would right her? Is there any, is there any way to show such friendship? A very even way, but no such friend. May a man do it. To the man's office, but not yours. I do love nothing in the world so well as you. Is that not strange? Strange is the thing I know not. It was possible for me to say I love nothing so well as you. But believe me not, and yet I lie not. I confess nothing, nor I deny nothing. I am sorry for my cousin. By my sword, Beatrice, thou lovest me. I protest I love thee. Why then, God, forgive me. What offense, sweet Beatrice. You have stayed me in a happy hour. I was about to protest I loved you. And do it with all thy heart. I love you with so much of my heart that none is left to protest. Come, bid me do anything for thee. Kill Claudio. Not for the wide world. I am gone, though I am here. There is no love in you, nay. I pray you, I will go. Beatrice. In faith, I will go. We'll be friends you first. You sooner be friends with me than fight with mine enemy. Is Claudio thine enemy? Is he not approved in the height of villain that has slandered, 
scorns, dishonors my kinswoman. Oh, that I were a man. What? Bear her in hand until they come to break hands, and then, with public accusation, uncovered slander, unmitigated rancor. Oh, that I were a man. I would eat his heart in the marketplace. Hear me, Beatrice. Talk with a man out a window, a proper saying. Nay, but Beatrice. Sweet hero, she is wronged, she is scorned, she is undone. Beatrice. Oh, that I were a man for Claudio's sake, or that I had any friend who would be a man for my sake. But manhood is melted into courtesies, valor into compliments, and men are turned only into tongues and trim ones too. He is now as valiant as Hercules, that only tells a lie and swears by it. I cannot be a man with wishing, therefore I will die a woman with grief. Tarry, sweet Beatrice, by this hand I love thee. Use it for my love, some other way than swearing by it. Think you in your soul that Count Claudio hath wronged Hero. Yea, as surely as I have sought or soul. Enough. I am engaged. I will challenge him. I will kiss your hand, and so I leave you. By this hand, Claudio shall render me a dear account. As you hear of me, so think of me. Go, comfort your cousin. I must say she is dead, and so, farewell. I'm still Annalise. <laughs> I'm Nadia. I'm Ava. And I'm Emma, reading as Benedict. And we're doing a scene where Beatrice and Benedict are first admitting their love for each other. Sweet Mistress Margaret, deserve well at my hands by helping me to the speech of Beatrice. Will you then write me a sonnet in praise of my beauty? And so high a style, Margaret, that no man shall come over it. For in a most comely truth thou deservest it. To have no man come over me? Why, shall I always keep a low stairs? And thy wit is as quick as a greyhound's mouth. It catches. And yours as blunt as the fencer's foils, which hit, but hurt not. A most manly wit, Margaret. And now, I pray you, call Beatrice. I give thee bucklers. Give us the swords. We have bucklers of our own. If you use them, Margaret, you must put the pikes in with the vice, as they are dangerous weapons for maids. Well, then I will call Beatrice to you, who I think hath legs. And therefore will come. The God of love that sits above and knows me and knows me, how pitiful I deserve. Mary, I cannot show it in song. I have tried. I can find out no rhyme for lady, but baby. An innocent rhyme for scorn, horn. A hard rhyme for school, fool. A babbling rhyme, very ominous endings. No, I was not born under a rhyming planet, nor can I woo in festival terms. Fair Beatrice, didst thou come when I called thee? Yea, senor, and depart when you bid me. Oh, but stay till then. Then is spoken ere I go. But let me leave with that I came, which is with knowing what hath passed between you and Claudio. Only foul words, and thereupon I will kiss thee. Ooh, foul words is but foul wind, and foul wind is but foul breath, and foul breath is noisome. Therefore I will depart unkissed. I must tell thee plainly, Claudio undergoes my challenge. And now... I pray you, for which of my bad parts didst thou first fall in love with? For them all together, for the which remains so politic a state of evil, they would not admit any good parts they neither mingle with them. But for which of my good parts didst thou first suffer love for me? Suffer love, a good epithet. 
I do suffer love indeed, for I love thee against my will. Against thy heart, and I think. Alas, poor heart, thou and I are too wise to woo peaceably. And now, I pray you, how doth your cousin? Very ill. And how do you? Very ill, too. Serve God, love me, and mend. But I must leave you there, for here comes one in haste. Madam, you must come to your uncle. It's proven my lady Hero hath been falsely accused, and the prince and Claudio mightily abused. And Don John is the author of all of it, who has fled and gone. Will you come presently? <laughs> Signor, will you hear the news? I will live in thy heart, die in thy lap, and be buried in thy eyes. And moreover, I will go with thee to thy uncle's. So I'd like to thank you all again and have you all come here for a second and just, um, you've introduced yourselves before, but if you could just say what grade you're in as well as just your first name. And I have another question for you all. Um, I'd like to know how much theater experience you have. Is this your first play or have you been doing theater um, outside of school as well? So I'll pass the mic to each of you. Okay, um, I'm Annalise. I am 13, I'm in eighth grade. Uh, and I have some theater experience. I've done one like big play as like a lead and then other small plays, so yeah. And um, I'm Emma and I'm 14, also in eighth grade. And I do have some other um, acting experience with Seattle Children's Theater too. But, um, but it was really great to work with other people at my school. Uh, and I'm Ruby, uh, I'm 13, I'm in eighth grade also. Uh, and uh, I, I do have a, um, a decent amount of theater experience. I've been acting since I was in third grade, uh, but um, over on Whidbey Island, so I did Whidbey Island Center for the Arts and Whidbey Children's Theater before this, so. Uh, my name's Nadia, I'm 13 and in eighth grade also, and I've had some theater experience. I was doing, I've been doing theater since third grade. My name is Ava, I'm in sixth grade, and this is my fifth play. Well, thank you all again very much for sharing your, your wonderful performance with us. And you did a great job adjusting your blocking for this space. So, well done. Thank you.